In this tutorial, we're gonna be finishing up Tracer's Gun. And uh, I was thinking about it, I actually haven't played Overwatch forever. It's been a long, long time. And so I wanted to show you just really briefly how bad I am. I don't know why I picked Tracer's Gun. That's out of all my characters, she's honestly like one of my least favorites. So uh, ah, I don't know. As always, make sure you subscribe. Uh, click the doobly-doo down there at the bottom, as Matt Coville would always say. Also, um, follow us on Patreon. We have a lot of really good stuff there that you can use in commercial projects. Also, this is available for free for people who aren't patrons or anything like that. Also, social, social media. If you make a, a Tracer's Gun or anything from this tutorial, I'd love, I'd love you to tweet at me and show me that image. Uh, I think that's really cool. So let's go ahead and get started by jumping straight into Substance Painter. Actually, we're going to look at Photoshop first. Here we go. All right, before we start, what we want to do is we want to look through the different textures and make sure that we get everything kind of planned out. So for example, um, as I look at these two different things, the 39 is not symmetrical, and so we don't want to make that symmetrical. But these things are, and so are these little lines here, and all pretty much everything else, all these other little details. So let's go ahead and make a plan. As I look at this, I want to do the same types of textures. So these lines, these embedding dark lines and dots, I'm going to do these first, and then what I want to do is I want to go through and, let's change this to green, I want to go ahead and do these emissions, so this color, this color, and then the third thing I want to do is probably these little metal dots right here and right here. Yeah, so it's not geometry, it's actually just textures. So let's go ahead and go up to Substance Painter here. Now, I've changed a couple of things, changed the darkness from the last tutorial, but hopefully that doesn't throw you off too much. Now, I'm going to do these lines right here. So it starts here, so looking at that kind of that level plane, it goes up and then it goes to the middle there. Up and then to the middle, just like that. So what I do is I do a fill layer, and then I make it a dark color, and then I turn off the roughness, metal, normal, turn all those off. Put the height down just a little bit, and then I add a black mask, like that. And then you can do a paint, or you could just actually paint on that mask. So now as you paint onto it, you can see it actually digs into the different... Uh, it, it looks like it's digging into the model. It's just changing the height. Let's go ahead and change this to orth orthographic. So that's an F6. Now very subtly, we're going to go through and just kind of hold Shift. And then let go. And then hold Shift again, like that. And you can see it's actually looking about what you want. The colors are not quite right. Um, but it's looking pretty good. So, oh, let's turn on the symmetric right there. Okay, now what we do to one side, we'll do to the other. Now I'm going to do this again. Hold shift. Oop, that was weird. There we go. And now as I turn, you can kind of do it right here as well. And there you go. Holding shift. Now we have a nice little line there. Now, we don't want this dark, so you can kind of click this and change down the opacity to what you want. And the nice thing about having this be a, a layer, you can kind of change the height instead of just trying to paint into it the first time. Change this down. And now we have very customizable. So if we find that doesn't work out the way we want, instead of us just painting on a blank layer, we actually have a fill layer that we can alter. Now, go ahead and click on this. Let's scroll down to black, and we can erase anything that was overlapping or things that we didn't like. That's looking good there. I say that a lot. Have you noticed that? That's looking good there. That's looking good there. Ah, oh, well. All right, so we're done with that. The next thing we want to do is these little ribs right there. I'm going to change that darker a little bit. Change it to multiply. Uh, there we go. And now you can make an alpha for this and kind of do a stamp, but I'm going to show you something just easier. I'm just going to draw these ends and then do kind of like a stamp tool to duplicate that. Uh, I do want to make sure that these are the right size, so I'm going to scroll in here. And you look for kind of uh, landmarks. So it lines up here and it lines up here is basically what it's between. It goes down and then goes diagonal. And it's a six side shape. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks, yep. So go ahead and create a new fill layer. Again, turn off everything except color and height. You might want to turn on the roughness if you want. Okay, so dark and embedded height. Put a black mask on, and now we're just going to paint on this. And you'll notice I didn't do a paint layer. I'm just actually painting on this. So holding shift, kind of go like this, like this. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is not production quality. 
Uh, we could make an alpha, we could spend hours doing this, but this is a tutorial, you don't wanna spend hours. Uh, and frankly speaking, most everybody isn't even watching this point. The average watch time is like three and a half minutes for my videos. So whatever that means. <laughs> so again, just trying to get to the basics so that you can kind of see the fundamentals of this. Now I can just go in and coloring book this, just fill in. And there we go. And this is a pretty cool, this is the last video of the tutorial series. Hopefully you liked it. If you've, if you've actually made the gun, uh, hit us up on Twitter and we'll look at that. So now you go to step here and there's, there's some other things. We'll look at those later. So hit V and then you just click just like that. And then you just see that you can just start drawing sort of thing. Oh, I hit C on accident. That's the channels change that. I'm going to put it at the very top. If you click this option right here, you can see that it basically just keeps on duplicating or, or, or it moves the, the, the location of the stamp. That was very articulate. Sorry about that. Wow. Uh, so, huh. It, it's interesting. It looks like it's kind of bugging out a little bit. It's, it's not getting the whole thing, but we can fill that in later. So we're just going to work around it. Weird stuff happens while you do art. So I'm gonna get that as close as I can. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Okay, now I'm just gonna move over, try and get as close as I can again. It doesn't have to be perfect because the human eye's not gonna be able to, oop, dang it. The human eye's not gonna be able to detect perfectly uh, the differences. Now I can go ahead and just change this to black and erase that. There we go. And in game, you're never going to be able to see that. It's never going to be bigger than this. And so it's like half of a millimeter difference between these different things. So don't don't sweat the small, small stuff. I've noticed when I was a young artist, the biggest thing that would happen to me is I would actually just get so stuck on these small things that I never really even finish anything because I, I, I didn't know how the pros did it. I didn't know how um, they made it look perfect. And the more I, I started to kind of look at pros work and stuff, their portfolio work is perfect, like flawless or nearly flawless. But in-game stuff, it's on a time constraint. There's a budget and you'll see seams in-game all the time. You'll see you'll see um, a lot of mistakes, animation. If you play Dota 2, half the cosmetics aren't even like still to this day, aren't even mapped correctly to the, the skeletons of the things. So don't worry about the small things. Uh, to just get it into a working order and don't worry about perfection. Try and get as close as you can, but then move on. Now these, I'm going to do the same thing. Same channel. It's just two dots here, one dot up there. And then there's probably one on top as well. So let's go ahead and try this. And ooh, that's pretty big. That's, you can see it's having some weird effects, right? Because this is a pretty faded alpha. So two things you could do is you could go and fill it in like that. Yee, we don't want to do that at all. I mean, because you make a mistake like that and it's not a good thing. So let's go do an alpha. Let's go find an alpha that's actually a harder circle. Uh, this one's a pretty good one. Just drag and drop into the alpha there. Oop, now it's almost too small. There we go. You want to try and make sure. And again, you could clone these too if you want to to make them all identical. You, you would never know that those weren't identical though, if I just sent the, the file. Speaking of which, all these files are gonna be made available on my Patreon for free. I'm not gonna try and sell an asset from a Blizzard game. That's, that's not gonna work out well for me. Um, but also check out all the different things offered by Patreon. We have a lot of lots of really good content that you can use in Unity for commercial purposes and other resources and things like that. So uh, go ahead and go check that out. Now I'm just trying to make this inner barrel here a little darker. Eww, that's not gonna work because that's a whole face. So you do have to paint this in. I guess I could go to the UV map and do it, but again, that looks great. Let's go ahead and look at the re reference. We got these, we got these. We need these triangles here and these parallel lines here. So let's go ahead and do the parallel lines. Parallel. Turn the height down a little bit. And then there we go. 
changing this down. Okay, look in the reference there. Let's just go ahead and just scroll this like that. There you go. And now I can just erase that, so that's why I overlap there. So I just change that down to black and I basically paint over that and that erases it. So, and you can change the color, make it perfect. It might be thinner, it might be longer, but there you go. That's basically how we do it. These triangle things here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a fill layer with no color and just height. Now I could just draw these on, or I could actually find an alpha that fits. So let's try and find an arrow. Uh, looking through these, mm, and almost every single texture that I've used so far has been out of the box. And so again, don't let constraints make you think that you can't get something good looking. I mean, we've used Blender, which is free. We've used all these free different alphas. So <laughs> some people think that they have to buy all these, these fancy brushes. Uh, right here, you can change the angle. It's this thing right here. So you could have, I should have just typed in 180, but I'm gonna scroll that over, yeah, try and get it. There you go. And I just click, click, click. For, t for the tutorial, I should just leave it, but I'm a little bit too much of a perfectionist. I don't like what that's looking like. Uh, there you go, one, two, three. And I'm just gonna change the height a little bit. You can do a slight var color va variation, change the alpha down. I like what that's looking like. Yeah, there you go. All the indents are done. Oh, almost. Uh, let's look at this. So just tweaking, there's a lot of tweaking in this. And that's art, and that's kind of hard in tutorials, right? As you go through these and it's just, you just keep tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. No one wants to watch me tweak these things. Um, looking at this, oh, we forgot these. Now that has no coloration, but those two do. do. So I'm just gonna use an existing channel, get that solid circle again. We don't want a triangle, obviously. Try and drop that in. And you could just eyeball it. So there's like one right here, right? So I'm just trying to play around with this, get this, and it's kind of hard to eyeball because if it's off Kelter, it's gonna be really ugly looking. So I kind of want to find the center. So might as well just do this, make like a full line across, and then a full line across. I want to get the angle that I need though. There you go. And then I'm just gonna change the color to black, go in here, scale this up. Ah, see how smart that was? That's why you pay me the big bucks. All right, <laughs> we don't pay you at all. <laughs> now I'm just gonna drag these in. So you, you have custom textures, you just drag these in, change it to alphas or textures. I should do alpha, but I did texture. You'll see that it's gonna work out just fine. Okay, so we have the bro thing. Uh, go ahead and click this. Uh, drag it into, it's not an alpha. It would have worked great on alpha. I'm just gonna drag it into the stencil. Scale this with S and then right, and then middle mouse button will kind of move the stencil. So middle mouse button, just like that. Right click moves it. I'm seeing, sorry, right mouse button scales it. You're gonna to totally hold that against me forever. All right. Just Dig that in. Look how cool that is. I love this. Move the stencil a bit. Hey, we're about done. Now there's a little plus on here. We're going to go to emissions and it's going to add an extra channel because we want to do the emissions things now. Now, whenever I add a texture, so let's do an add fill letter, you can see there's an emission channel. So leave color, metal, nope, nope, height and emission, yes. Tip that down a bit. You might hear my kids in the next couple seconds or so, they're kind of running around. That's always fun. So I'm gonna do a black mask here. And now click this, drag and drop this. Hey, eh, this is looking pretty good. So make the height even deeper. I'm gonna do polygon fill and do by UVs. I think I laid this out, so that's, yep, perfect, just like that. Want to change the color to teal, like that. 
and change the emissions to also teal. So let's just play around with this. Yeah, you want the color on. There you go, get the color you want. So I like teal, teal. That's beautiful. Now I also want right there. So I want a paintbrush. I want to change the alpha to be like a square alpha. You could kind of blend it off or erase or things like this, but square alpha is just easier to get a square texture. So I'm going to go ahead and find that square. Uh, there's one right there. Let's, yeah, that's good. Shift control to make it straight. It's looking good. And then shift control here. There we go. Now I can go on top of this layer with just kind of like a blank layer, like such, and then change the color to white and emissions to white. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of control shift. That's too strong. Let's change the alpha down. So I'm going to change the flow down to like 17. And you can see it's it has this nice cool glow effect. Just like that. Just like that. And again, you might hear my children in the background. And that's how you do missions. Now we have two last things. We want these metal bolts right here. So I'm just going to do another normal layer. Change this down to no emissions. Change this down to uh, do, 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 what I'm looking at. Oh, sorry, I'm not doing metal first. I want to do the 39. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to re-import this as an alpha. I can't see the stencil anywhere. So, meh. So if you do something wrong, it's you know usually easier just to redo it correctly instead of trying to work around your mistake. So alpha, alpha. And then you can just drag that in and basically stamp that on. You don't want the symmetrical because it's not on both sides. So let's turn off that symmetry. And it's looking, <laughs> I say that a lot, it's looking pretty good. And there we go. Let's go ahead and do the metal now. So just basically make a layer. You can make a metal layer, metal fill, dark metal, no normal. roughness you probably want on. Uh, height, you actually want to go above, so like a 2, instead of a negative 2, 0.2. Add a black mask. Let's get that circle alpha again. You don't want a 39. You can try this. That's not looking good. It's just basically a dot. So we could try and make this work, um, but we don't want that. We want probably just a straight up alpha that we've been using the whole time. Again, simple is good. Hey, there you go. You can see that the dapple is going through it. It's combining and we can fix that later. But just, oh, I forgot to make it symmetrical. So again, all the files are available online on my Patreon. That's just patreon.randomartattack. Give us a subscribe as always. Uh, comment and share this with your friends as well.